All right. Let's go in. Hi. I'm sorry, Papa. I never meant to hurt you. She made me do it. You would never approve of our friendship, so she had to get you out of the way. I don't want to serve her, Papa. I don't want to be the first chosen anymore. I, I just, just want, want out. out. Seems legit. Why did we turn off the lights for? I bet you she's the doll, isn't she? Okay. Okay, yeah, Gibbs is not that far behind me. He's in the, um... Are you serious? It's a giant teddy bear. Oh, I wasn't sure what to do. I was like, do this? Do this? I guess that worked. Thanks for the light bulb, though. Seriously, this game. Clever. Give her credit for that. That was clever. Oh. Get out of here. Thank okay. you. For the bow tie. How you done? I know. Uh. Yeah, I know, right?
see. Is there any way we can open this? At all? Oh yeah, we can use the fishing rod to get this out. Alright, so time was subject to 0-0-0. And she's had 300 of them, can you believe that? Just click randomly on everything. Eventually you'll find what you're looking for. Whoop! Give me it. Alright. Alright, let's plug this in. Uh. Whoa! Don't move, whatever you do. Oh, it's a casket. One of the fiendish spirits set his sights on a little boy, plaguing his dreams every night. He needed to overpower this first soul. Every soul under his control after that would only make it harder for others to resist. The boy's fragile and innocent soul never stood a chance against the cunning demon. I just somehow knew. He appeared as a little girl, sensing the boy's dearest wish to have a sister. Solve that puzzle in a moment. Curse you. Sure, I'll take an eyeball. Uh.
I did that game. I'm okay. Father, are you a ghost? No, I left your world long ago. What you see is Tom's memory of me, a fragment of a guilty conscience, a reminder of the terrible price he paid for befriending that monster. What did he do? It was just a little push down the stairs. He was protecting what I thought was an imaginary friend. But she was anything but imaginary. How could my son resist her power? I don't hold him responsible, but he still blames himself. It's been eating away at him ever since. I'm here to stop her once and for all. Can you help me somehow? Tom continues to protect her, even though he doesn't want to. End his nightmare. End that monster. Release my son, please. Well, you're not helpful at all. It's that place again. The little girl's room. I've got her now. No, you don't. I just can't get rid of you, can I? You insufferable pest. Time to die, demon. When this is over, you won't be able to infest our world anymore. You know what hurts the most, Subject 360? I gave you a chance. I offered you a brighter future. I even forgave you your past sins. Not your job. And still you insist on being a pain in my backside. You fought your fears well. Care to choose another? I'm not afraid of any of those things. <laughs> Hence says to pick that one. <laughs> I'm not afraid of any of these things. I'm through pulling punches. It doesn't matter what you choose now. I'm going to release them all. Good. I will wipe you. This is the end of the world for you, Subject 360. I'm going to enjoy every minute of this! Ah, I see. I'll enjoy it too. Ah. Uh. <laughs> really, I have to do that?
What am I supposed to do? Yeah, and then what? Uh, just make a start of this or something? Oh. Oh. I feel dumb. Alright, I know what I have to do now. I feel stupid. No, no, that was right. I was getting it right. No. Aha! Get lost. Tom, your fight is with me. Release Tom. Nope. Never. He's mine. Aha! In your dreams. Those are big words coming from you right now. How much longer do you really think you can keep this up? Well, I just squeeze the life out of you. Take it! Take it and go back to where you came from! Tom, I 
need your help to cross over. You... you killed her. You killed her! Snap out of it. Grab that plank to help me bridge the gap. She's... gone. What? Bridge? Grab the damn plank and set it down so I can cross. Cross... over... Okay. Okay. It's time to go, Tom. Okay, okay. I guess I'm ready. Just step away from the door. I'm going to blast it. This is it, Tom. Give me your hand, and we're out of here. I'm finally free. Now I can tell my dad how sorry I am about what I did. I'm sure he'll forgive you, and I hope you can find peace. Sleep well, Tom. No more bad dreams. It's over, Howard. It's really over. I, I don't believe it. You saved us all from that demon. You're a real hero. So are you. Me? Oh, oh no. I, I was mostly just hiding, waiting for something to happen, or, or for someone else to do something. If you hadn't saved me, I wouldn't have been able to stop the demon. That makes you a hero. Well, when you put it that way, I was kind of getting sick of my old nickname anyway. Howard the Coward. Howard the Coward, from now on you shall be known as Howard the Empowered. At least as far as I'm concerned. Howard the Empowered? <laughs> that has a nice ring to it. Thanks, Christine. Howard the Empowered. Hmm. Howard the Hero. Oh, Howard the Saved. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Please. As I left Haven, I had to laugh. I had completely forgotten I was on my way to the seaside when all this, now that it's over, my mind can drift back to thoughts of sandy beaches and lazy days in the sun. I'm eager to put a long drive and good night's sleep between me and that terrible place. On second thought, maybe I'll skip the sleeping part for just a while longer. You never know. That was awesome. Right. I beat your Gibbs. Yes, so I'll, s I'll see you on the extras.